गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर ऑलरेडी स्टडीड आइसोमेरिज्म इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमेरिज्म इन स्क्वेयर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस एंड ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमेरिज्म इन ऑक्टाइडल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस आर ऑलरेडी स्टडीड सेकंड टाइप ऑफ स्टेरियो आइसोमर्स इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड इज ऑप्टिकल आइसोमेरिज्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज मीन बाय ऑप्टिकल आइसोमेरिज्म complex molecule or ion that having non superimposable mirror images of each other called as optical isomerism or it is also called as enian isomer that means enian isomer has non superimposable mirror images of each other there are two types of optical isomer first is dextro rotatory isomer in short it is called as d isomer it is represented by small letter small d dextro rotatory means of the isomer which can rotate plane of polarized light at right hand side or clockwise direction that is called as dextro isomer second is levo rotatory isomer isomer which can rotate plane of polarized light towards left hand side or anti clockwise direction that is called as l isomer it is represented by small l there are two types of optical isomer first is d isomer or it is also called as dextro rotatory and l isomer that is levo rotatory these are the two types of optical isomerism optical isomer isomerism in octahedral complexes first optical isomerism in octahedral complexes for example tris ethylene diamine cobalt third example enthyl plus 3 what is the name of this complex tris into bracket ethylene diamine bracket complete cobalt 3 ion this complex shows optical isomerism that is d and l isomer that means this complex having non superimposable mirror image it can be drawn as ethylene diamine is represented as it is bidentin ligand it can form two coordinate bond with central metal ion in this way second ethylene diamine it can also form two coordinate bond with central metal ion cobalt and third ethylene diamine it is d isomer it having non superimposable mirror image of each other suppose this is mirror and its non superimposable mirror image is ethylene diamine it can form two coordinate bond another ethylene diamine can form another two coordinate bond and third ethylene diamine can form this two coordinate bond this is l isomer in this way octahedral complex shows optical isomerism that is these two isomers are also called as enian isomer because enian isomer having non superimposable mirror image of each other then octahedral complexes existing as both geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism for example second example platinum
plus 2. What is the name of this complex? Dichloro, bis, ethylene diamine, platinum, 4, iron. Because this is iron, that is cationic complex. This is also octahedral isomerism. This complex also shows optical isomerism as well as geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism means cis and trans isomerism. How it can show both isomerism as central metal ion platinum plus 4. Here this complex is which type of complex? M A A 2 B2. This type of complex is this. Where AA is the bidentine ligand that is ethylene diamine and B2 is the dichloro. If at 1 2 position there is a chloro and remaining is ethylene diamine, ethylene diamine. This is cis isomer. Cis and also D isomer. Its mirror image is as like platinum plus 4. This is its mirror image, ethylene diamine, ethylene diamine. It can form 6 coordinate bond. It is also cis isomer, but it is optical isomer, leo rotatory, L isomer. This is the non superimposable mirror image of cis isomer, that is geometrical isomer. First is dextro rotatory and second is levo rotatory. Then it's trans isomer, platinum plus 4. If at 1 4 position there is identical ligands Cl, Cl, ethylene diamine and ethylene diamine. This is trans isomer. But trans isomer does not show optical isomerism like D and L isomer because it has center of symmetry therefore it is optically inactive or it can form superimposable mirror image of each other therefore trans isomer of this complex does not show optical isomerism only cis isomer of this complex shows optical isomerism. Then about square planar complexes. Square planar complexes does not show optical isomerism because square planar complexes having axis of symmetry and mirror plane. Therefore, square planar complexes does not show optical isomerism. The next point is there are some structural isomers. Next point is structural isomers. Structural isomer. There are four types of structural isomer. First one is linkage isomerism. Linkage isomerism. First of all, what is mean by linkage isomerism? These isomers are formed when ligands has two different donor atom. That means Ligands can form coordinate bond with central metal ion via two different atoms. For example, for example, plus two and Plus 2. This is the first example which can show linkage isomerism. This isomer can form when some ligands can form 
कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड विथ सेंट्रल मेटल आयन वाया टू डिफरेंट आइटम इन फर्स्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस नाइट्रोलिगैन दिस नाइट्रोलिगैन कैन फॉर्म कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड बाय नाइट्रोजन इन द सेकंड कॉम्प्लेक्स इन नाइट्रोलिगैन ऑक्सीजन कैन फॉर्म कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड विथ सेंट्रल मेटल कोबाल्ट देर फोर सेम लिगैंड दैट इज नाइट्रो और इट इज कॉल्ड एज नाइट्रीटो इफ लिंकेज बाय नाइट्रोजन इफ नाइट्रोजन कैन फॉर्म कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड देन इट कैन इट कैन बी कॉल्ड एज नाइट्रो इफ ऑक्सीजन कैन फॉर्म कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड विथ सेंट्रल मेटल आयन देन इट कैन कैन बी कॉल्ड एज नाइट्रीटो देर फोर सेम लिगैंड कैन फॉर्म डिफरेंट कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड बाय डिफरेंट एटम देर फोर दिस आइसोमर इज लिंकेज आइसोमेरिज्म सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द सेम टाइप पेंटा एक्वा थायोसाइनेटो एंड पेंटा एक्वा आइसो थायोसाइनेटो प्लस इन सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल अल्सो सल्फर कैन फॉर्म कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड विथ आयर इन फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल एंड सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल नाइट्रोजन कैन फॉर्म कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड विथ आयर दैट इज सेम लिगैन कैन फॉर्म कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड विथ सेंट्रल मेटल आयन वाया डिफरेंट डोनर एटम दैट इज कॉल्ड एज लिंकेज आइसोमेरिज्म दिस एस सी एन दैट इज थायोसाइनेटो and here ncs that means isothiocyanato what is the name of this complex penta aqua thiocyanato iron second iron what is the name of second complex penta aqua isothiocyanato iron second iron in both example same ligand can form coordinate bond with सेंट्रल मेटल आयन वाया डिफरेंट डोनर एटम दैट इज कॉल्ड एज लिंकेज आइसोमेरिज्म सेकेंड आइसोमेरिज्म आयोनाइजेशन आइसोमर आयोनाइजेशन आइसोमेरिज्म इन आयोनाइजेशन आइसोमेरिज्म देर इज अ ओनली एक्सचेंज ऑफ लिगैंड बिटवीन कोऑर्डिनेशन स्पेयर एंड आयोनाइजेशन स्पेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड what is mean by ionization isomerism ionization isomerism in which there is only exchange between exchange of ligand between coordination pair and ionization pair for example this is coordination pair coordination pair and this is ionizable ionizable ion that is in this complex this is coordination pair and this is ionizable ion what is mean by ionization isomerism there is only exchange between exchange of ligands between coordination pair and ionization pair For example, what is the name of this complex? Pentamine sulfato cobalt three 
एंड नेम ऑफ सेकंड कॉम्प्लेक्स पेंटा अमाइन ब्रोमो कोबाल्ट थ्री दिस इज द नेम ऑफ बोथ कॉम्प्लेक्स इन फर्स्ट केस सल्फेटो दिस लिगेंड इज डायरेक्टली अटैच टू सेंट्रल मेटल आयन कोबाल्ट एंड ब्रोमीन इज द आयोनाइजेबल आयन इन सेकंड केस ब्रोमीन is in coordination pair that is bromo bromo is attached to directly uh, central metal ion that is cobalt and sulfato is the ionizable ion that is there is a exchange of ligands between this bromine and sulfato here sulfato is in the coordination pair in second complex it is ionizable ion in first complex bromide is ionizable ion in second complex bromo is the ligand which is directly attached to cobalt that is there is only exchange of ligands between coordination pair and ionization pair that is called as ionization isomerism then third type of isomerism is coordination isomers third is third is coordination isomerism for example this is the example of coordination isomerism in this complex there is a exchange of ligand between exchange of ligand between coordination pair and ionization pair with different metal ion for example this complex hexamine cobalt hexacyanochromate hexamine chrom chromium hexacyanocobaltate in this complex first complex amine ligand is attached to cobalt and cyanide ligand is attached to chromium in second complex exactly opposite to first complex amine ligand is attached to chromium and cyanide ligand is attached to cobalt that is there is a exchange of ligand between cationic and anionic pair of different metal ion that is called as coordination isomerism what is coordination isomerism in coordination isomerism there is exchange of ligands between cationic pair and anionic pair of different metal ion that is called as coordination isomerism and fourth one is solvate or it is also called as hydrate isomerism hydrate isomerism in this case there is also exchange of water ligand from coordination pair to ionizable ion for example and this complex shows solvate or hydrate isomerism in first complex six water molecule is directly attached to chromium and three chlorine three chloride ions are ionizable this is coordination pair in second complex only 
bio water molecule is attached to central metal ion chromium and one water molecule is ionizable that is there is exchange of one water molecule from ionization pair to ionizable ion and in first complex three chloride ions are ionizable but in second complex only two chloride ions are ionizable and one chloride ion is directly attached to central metal ion that is there is exchange of ligand from coordination pair to ionization pair but prominently water there is exchange of water between coordination pair to ionization pair that is called as solvate isomerism or hydrate isomerism this is all about isomerism in coordination compounds in next lecture we are going to study hybridization or valence bond theory in coordination compounds that is hybridization in different coordination compounds that is octahedral complexes square planar complexes and tetrahedral complexes